To submit an assignment to your eCollege page, you'll want to click on the Dropbox icon on the top menu. Next, you will want to click on the link that says Submit Assignment right above the inbox. Where it says Basket, you want to select the assignment from the drop-down menu. This comment box is not for copying and pasting your assignment, but rather for any comment or note that you have for your instructor. If you have no comment or note, you can leave this area blank. To attach your assignment, you want to go down to where it says Attachments and the link that says Add or Remove. From here, you will want to find your, click on Choose File and find your assignment on your computer or device. Click on your assignment and click Open to attach it. You should see it right here next to Choose File. Then select, select Attach File to attach it to your submission. Once it has successfully attached, you should see your file listed right underneath Attachments. If you don't see your file listed, then it has not successfully attached it and you will need to try again. Once you have finished attaching it, you will want to click on Submit Assignment. You must click on this button to submit your assignment. Once your assignment has been submitted, it should appear in your outbox. It should appear with the assignment name or the basket. Underneath the paperclip icon, you should see the paper icon. This is your assignment, your attachment. If you don't see a paper icon here, then it did not successfully attach your assignment, and you will need to try again. You will also see the date and the timestamp of your submission. Once your instructor has graded it, it should appear in your inbox with a grade. You can also go to the grade book to see your grade at any time. If you have any questions on how to submit an assignment, contact your instructor or tech support. If for some reason you're having a problem with eCollege and it will not let you successfully submit your assignment, you will need to contact tech support, as your instructor does not have access uh, to the uh, tools they have to see what's wrong with your account and fix it for you. Once again, if you are having problems getting eCollege to work, you need to contact tech support and let your instructor know as soon as possible that you are having problems.